I'd be lying to say that it wasn't my relationship with James that, uh, that kind of brought me, me down here to visit. I had the bug to get into college coaching like I kind of always did. And we'd always had a long-standing dialogue about football and coaching and quarterback play. And when he was hired here, it was just um, natural for me to drive down. James and he were very close. He played quarterback uh, for James at Perry at Williams. And, and then he's down the road at Del Barton. And he just, you know, some guys, you say, hey, why don't you come back here? You have an open invitation. And they show up once and you don't see him again for another two years. Sean was there three, four days a week. It was just kind of like um, uh, almost a trial in uh, uh, college coaching that, that uh, wasn't available to me at Del Barton. You know, I was coaching baseball and bowling and I'd come down and spend my time with James and some of the, the, uh, the beginnings of the staff as it first kind of uh, was born and uh, I wanted to help out wherever I could. There's this genuine, he wants to be great. And I saw you, you see that in him. And eventually my brother, who's the head football coach at Fairleigh Dickinson, has a job opening. And he's just bouncing some things. I said, you gotta interview this guy, Sean Gleason. I'm telling you this guy is going to be a star. I mean, he just, the guy gets it in every way. And he ends up uh, doing a great job for my brother. And then we have a position opening that you know, I thought, you know, the running back job here, he was a perfect fit for that. I know that after that third year, they were five and five, and those games were so tight. I mean, everyone remembers here, you know, that Penn game at home that uh, could have gone either way, and there were just some guys on that team that, that were so determined to flip this thing in the right direction. I knew when I was joining it that fourth year that they had truly gotten over the hump. And uh, it was exciting to kind of like see that develop in the spring. And then obviously we won the Ivy League Championship my first year here. Uh, you know, a wide-eyed kid coaching the running backs and, and learning about Princeton. Those positions are leadership roles. You're in front of the entire team. You have to strategize. You have to think quickly. You have to make decisions. You have to know personnel. And Sean did an outstanding job. His energy, his passion, his intelligence every single step of the way, and I think it showed on the field how well our special teams units played with some youth. Coach Gleason, you know, he fills up the room with passion and excitement and enthusiasm, and uh, I think the team definitely responds to that, and, and we're all as an offense looking forward, uh, moving forward to having him as our offensive coordinator, and like I said, he's, he's full of passion, so we're excited. I would strongly prefer in the system we run, and we are a fast-paced, aggressive, attack mode, offense we've had some outstanding quarterbacks and they're the leader of the offense that's whether you play pop warner or you play in the national football league the quarterback is the leader of the team having the one voice of the coordinator to the quarterback uh you know is a really important thing for the quarterback position at princeton you know coach perry has definitely started that car and warmed it up for me you know there's there's a lot of talent in the room and, and uh, i think there'd be again a lot of people that would sign up for this particular position with those guys coming back. They're not clones. You know, I'm sure we're going to maybe look at things that we can be better. That, that maybe James would have done something a little different, that Sean's going to do a little different. But, but the generic, how we play, how aggressive we are, how enthusiastic we are, the energy of practice, I don't think that's going to change a bit. Moving forward now, it'll be, um, you know, it'll be my own, just like special teams was my own. You know, we're going to game plan the same way. We're going to practice the same way. We're going to uh, address winter workouts very similarly. So, you know, I'd be stupid to, to think that uh, I'd be getting the job and getting, you know, uh, A to Z, all those things turned on their head and, and start over from new. Like, we're going to do a lot of the same things, but, you know, my personality is going to come out. You know, my personality came out in special teams, and, you know, guys on the team will tell you what it would be like to be in that room. He is, you know, one of those guys, just like James, football consumes him. You know, I, I didn't know James when I interviewed him. I didn't know Sean when he you know, started coming and visiting us the same way, but they're both passionate guys. They love football. Like the things that you as a head coach and your qualities you're looking for in a coach, they have those same qualities.